Hello and welcome to the history of Stargate Atlantis. Today's episode we're going to be covering the energy being of M5S224. And here we go. These energy beings inhabited the planet M5S224, although they did not originate there. To outsiders, they appeared as a nondescript white fog permeating the air around the planet Stargate. However, in reality, they were intelligent beings that were killed en masse whenever the opening of the Stargate released its unstable vortex. When Major John Shepard's team and Dr. Elizabeth Weir came to M5S224, intending to dial Earth, which would endanger even greater numbers of them due to the energy required to dial another galaxy. The life forms took preventive action. While the intruders were made to believe that they successfully returned to Earth, their minds were actually trapped in a hallucination constructed from their memories of Earth. With the exception of Taylor, who shared Major John Shepard's illusion, as she had no memories of Earth. However, despite the creature's attempt to create a convincing illusion to keep the crew confined to Earth, various anomalies emerged in their respective hallucinations. Dr. Rodney McKay noted that the Zero Point module had experienced an impossible malfunction when the illusionary SGC attempted to discourage him from using it to dial the Pegasus Galaxy. Dr. Elizabeth Weir observed McKay acting out of character, and Major John Shepard's unusual ability to control the creature's illusions resulted in him interacting with various dead comrades and past crushes. One of the life forms who assumed the identity of Major General George S. Hammond eventually revealed the masquerade and agreed to free them in exchange for leaving the planet and abandoning the plan to contact Earth. Shepard assured them that they would not sacrifice the creatures to get back to Earth. Hey, thank you for watching the history of Stargate Atlantis. Have a great day. Bye-bye.